اسعد الله اوقاتكم مشاهدينا الكرام واهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقه جديده مع برنامج رواد الاعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقه ان نستضيف رجل اعمال معنا اليوم مستر مارتن من النسمه هلو مستر مارتن اهلا وسهلا فيرست اوف اول ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور كومينغ اور بروجرام اند ان ذا بيجينينج ود يو بليز تيل اس مور اباوت يور سيلف اند اباوت يور بيجينينج وذ النسمه ماي نيم از مارتن اي كم فروم كولون ان ويست جيرماني Um, I used to work in the chocolate industry almost my entire life and at one point in time we came up with an idea of making the first chocolate in the world from camel milk and this is how we decided to come over from Germany to Dubai and to start this project. So Mr. Martin, can you tell us what type of chocolate and what's special about your chocolate? Well, first of all, what's special about the milk, our core ingredient is camel milk. And camel milk is low in fat and high in minerals. It's slightly salty. And this is also reflected in our chocolate. If you take a bite, you can really feel the slight saltiness. And what is lacking is the fat aspect of, cam- of normal milk chocolate. Cow milk has a very high uh, milk uh, content. So if you eat a normal cow milk chocolate, you have that fat, that milk fat remaining on your palate. If you eat ours, it's a completely different texture. And I think that's part of our success story as well. I would say our most special product is our chocolate bar. Yeah, that's a standard chocolate mass. It, uh, it's all that we are really in, in one bite. Yeah? How does the camel milk impact the taste of the chocolate? Yeah? Most people prefer a plain standard camel milk chocolate like this. But of course we have to, we in Dubai, we have to cater to many different nationalities and preferences. Uh, we have um, our praline, which are filled with uh, certain local ingredients like the Arabic coffee, uh, Fustok Halebi, uh, these kind of things. So we're trying to be local as much as possible. We don't want to copy Italian or, or French chocolates. We want to produce and invent and develop our own styles here from the Middle East. Uh, 15 years ago, nobody would have thought that a special chocolate with a special local brand, El Nazma, could come out of Dubai and would be in the premium positioning. Of chocolate. Today we are. We are selling, uh, for instance, a white chocolate with pistachios, 35 dirham a kilo. This is one of the most expensive chocolates in the market, but it's worth every cent. And more and more people understand that and are willing to spend extra for a good chocolate. Yeah? We also have our uh, iconic camel, of course, like the Santa Claus, yeah, like the Easter Bunny. This is our camel. Camel works throughout the entire year. We are not. Uh, dependent on seasons, yeah, like Christmas or Diwali or whatever, or eat camels, you can sell the whole year through to all the tourists coming to the UAE. So, Mr. Martin, after this successful year, what's your future plan and what's your vision for your business? <coughs> Our vision is to bring this concept to wider places in the world. We already sell in the United States and nice department stores in Europe and so on. But we developed also some new products like chocolate coated dates under the Samha brand. And we think this is a perfect product for the world. People are really looking into more pure, healthier alternatives when it comes to confectionery. And this is what we want to roll out to the areas in the world where people love exactly this Japan, China, Europe, the US. Yeah, they're really looking at sugar reduced, pure products without soy lecithin, without palm oil and anything else. That's what we produce. Mr. Martin, from your experience, what's your advice for the new and potential business people who want to start a new business here? Love what you do. Yeah, you have to have a certain passion for what you do. And then my advice for <clears throat> rolling out things as a startup, do it yourself. Don't send anybody. Roll up your sleeves and go. Be in time, earn trust, know the people that you are dealing with. Yeah, I think that's super important. And then also have some patience with yourself, yeah? Don't grow every year 50%. That's not a realistic expectation. Do it bit by bit, Uh, earn your merits, months by months, every year a little bit better, every year a little bit more, more, and then also create a brand. That's my, I would say, it's my singular most important advice. Don't just create a business, create a brand. Be that brand. In the end, would you please tell us how we can reach and contact with Anasma? We are reachable on social media, of course, Instagram, website, Facebook, and so on. Uh, you can, of course, always visit us here in the Gold Souk, in our little shop here. You find us on all the airports. 
uh, of the Middle East, uh, I can say, to find our products. We have this iconic big golden camel lying there and waiting for you to snap up our products. Thank you very much, Mr. Martin. We hope you all the best and the most successful in the future. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. إلى هنا أعزائي المشاهدين نختتم حلقتنا لهذا الأسبوع. تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت على قناتكم ABC الخليجية وعلى مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي. دمتم بخير في أمان الله.